many of you asked me about my NVIDIA control panel settings for iRacing. So here they are. I was tinkering with them uh, for a few years and uh, this is uh, what's working for me, not only for iRacing but for uh, gaming in general. I try to turn off as much as possible in uh, NVIDIA control panel and I like to leave it on the game to handle most of the stuff. So image scaling is off, ambient occlusion is off, anisotropic filtering is application controlled. I like to control it in game. Anti-aliasing FXAA is also off and all the aliasing is off. Background application max frame rate is off but you can turn it on if you are doing a lot of stuff on the background. CUDA GPUs all and DSR factors off. Low latency mode is ultra, max frame rate is off, multi frame rate sample AA off, OpenGL uh, GDI compatibility is auto and OpenGL rendering GPU is your GPU. I still have 10 ADTI because of my work and I have to stay with 10 series GPUs for now but I have no problem running iRacing or other sim racing games above 100 FPS on a triple screen. Power management is uh, prefer maximum performance. Shader cache size is disabled. Texture filtering is on. Texture filtering negative load bias is clamp. Texture filtering quality is high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization is on. Threaded optimization is auto. Triple buffering is off. Vertical sync, I use uh, 3D application to handle this because sometimes I uh, want a vertical sync, sometimes I don't and I leave it like that. VR pre-rendered frames is 3. That's what working for me. Uh, I race a lot in VR, so this is what's working for me. Vulkan OpenGL present method is auto. If you have any suggestions about these settings for me, leave the comment in the comment section. These settings are for me the best uh, ratio between performance and quality. So no matter if it's in VR or on the screen. So I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.